Hey, what's up, guys? Camp and Rusher here. We got some free rewards for you, a surprise free skin that some of you may be very happy about. Check your inventory. Then we're talking about massive news to do with Marvel times Fortnite and much more. Also, keep in mind, we are just a few days away from the first downtime update of the season. Content is back. That'll be Tuesday morning, Monday night, depending on how you look at it. So, yeah, make sure you're tuned in. Let's get right into the free stuff. So, apparently, some people got the Psycho Bandit, which is the Borderlands skin, out of nowhere for some reason. And people were a little confused at first, but it looks like it was people who pre-ordered Borderlands 3 on the Epic Game Store. So if that was you, once again, check Fortnite. This is kind of a big deal because we haven't seen this outfit. It was released August 27, 2019, so five years ago, and it has not been seen since May 31st, 2020, so over 1,300 days ago. So this is a rare skin that people are getting, I mean, for free, but it, it basically you had to pre-order the game. So let me know in the comments, were you lucky enough to get involved in this. Last video I went in depth uh, with the basically the finale of the Epic versus Apple legal battle. It was mostly bad news for Epic. If you want, go check that video out after this one and you'll learn everything that had to do with it. But something that I didn't touch on that came out afterwards is related to Epic possibly having to pay $73 million as a punishment for losing the, the legal battle. And that would be for Apple's legal fees. Epic's going to have to pay these fees. It's just how much is to be determined. Apple has asked the court. $73 million is the number they put on it. Doesn't mean Epic's going to pay that, but they're going to have to pay something. And like they've been doing from time to time, especially recently here, with the item shop, they're using like emotes side by side to convey a message. And this is what came out as soon as that news came out. This was in the item shop that night. And bring it slash make it rain. Basically, bring it on. We got the cash. We're willing to pay. There's a a little uh, little message from Epic in the item shop. Now, we got a lot more to talk about, a lot about the new update, but a quick word from our sponsor. A lot of you guys have been asking me how we can get zero ping. Well, I've got the answer for you. It's an app called Gear Up Booster. Gear Up Booster optimizes connection for people who are suffering from bad infrastructure problems. Basically, you're gonna have that high ping fixed. If you're rolling with 100 ping, now you're gonna roll with 50 ping. It also keeps your network connection stable. I've, I've got pretty good ping. My, my ping normally it goes between 10 and 40 when I'm playing Fortnite. But when I use Gear Up Booster to boost Fortnite, I found stability. I was sticking at the same ping the entire game and that's what really helped me. But if you have high ping, not so great internet connection, you are really going to feel the benefits of Gear Up Booster. It's easy to use. It's just one click. It's safe to use. Professionals in the Fortnite world, Mero for example, they use it. It's not bannable. And don't worry if you're a console user, there is an an option for you too. It's called Hype Rev. Make sure to use the link in the description below, download Gear Up Booster, and let me know what's the lowest you can get your ping and how much did it change your ping from before getting Gear Up Booster to afterwards. I want to hear it. Thanks to them for sponsoring the video. And then the army. This was a weird one, but Army Jobs, which is the official British Army jobs profile, so re recruitment for the, you know, the actual army, they're using Fortnite to recruit people and people are a lot of people are not happy about this it feels a little weird I think people are upset that maybe using Fortnite it being a, a war slash battle game obviously cartoony using that and young impressionable kids you know the army is just as, as fun as this game come join that's what people are getting upset about but yeah, just a, a, a weird collab. The the official British Army and Fortnite. I don't, didn't think I would ever see it. Like I said, the new downtime update coming out Tuesday morning. We're not going to talk about everything we know about as I'm going to do a video. My next video will probably focus in on that. But we're going to talk about a couple things I have not mentioned for a while. And the first one is the Lego times Ninjago collaboration. This is official. We know it's coming. And it was supposed to come early 2024. That's the period we are in 
in right now. And with this being the official first update with not only the stuff that'll release with the update, but we'll get leaks in the files as well for what's to come. I really expect we're going to see some stuff uh, about this. And I think this is uh, of, of other things, along with other things, some of the late game upgrades, the new tier five tools and weapons that Epic is working on for the Lego mode. I think those are the two things people are most hyped about right now. And yeah, so we'll of course let you know about that stuff right away. So subscribe, turn your noties on as soon as it goes live Tuesday morning, I will have a video covering everything. And I'm assuming it's going to include this fire monkey, put this tweet out Lego Ninjago collab real, obviously not real, but just a, a little joke tweet to hype everybody up. But some of the official stuff that is planned to come is general Vex, a main antagonist in the Ninjago TV series and a powerful boss character. There will also be blizzard archers, ranged enemies that can attack from a distance, of course, and then blizzard sword masters. So lots of exciting stuff there. The Lego world, battle royale world, and all the other modes that Fortnite has. I'm really expecting a lot of content in this upcoming downtime update. FNCS 2024 was announced and we've got the info in front of you. It's an in-person event, which is awesome. And the prize pool is $7.675 million. So there's money on the line, which always makes it more exciting. I'm pulling up the dates for you right now for all the different open qualifiers, etc. If you are interested in competing, even if you don't have a chance to win it all, but just to get in some competition with your buddies. So I've got those coming up, but the main grand finals event is July 27th and 28th. So that's the big one where they'll all be fighting for the money. Couple things they've clarified is there will not be siphon included in the FNCS majors. People are not too happy about this one. Leave your opinions down below. And then also they've made the decision for at least for the rest of chapter five, season one, mid-match objectives are no longer going to give points. It seems that they're working to fix this, update it, so they're not removing it forever. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. And if you're excited slash going to be playing in the FNCS this season. This next piece of news here I got is, I love seeing this stuff. It's an interesting one and it's concept art for what certain things looked like before they actually came to the game first one is chapter 5 season 1 train concept art this is one of the more exciting things we found out about i think the train is an awesome feature this season and you can see what their initial design was it's pretty similar to what we have now but cool to see it in the concept phase and then we've actually got concept art for chapter 4 season 4 bunch of the different pois etc i'm scrolling through now they always just look so epic in the concept art and they do it, it looks epic in game as well but there you go. Let me know your thoughts. One of them does say Chapter 4, Season 3. This is common knowledge that Epic does move things around, POI, storyline stuff. They sometimes plan it for one season, change their minds, and put it in another season. And I think that's what's happened here. The Gold Octane is now available in Rocket League for 800 credits. The reason I bring this up is it, of course, transfers to Rocket Racing, to Fortnite, and this is kind of an exciting one. I'm a Rocket League player, so in Rocket League, it's exciting. Probably would have bought it either way just for that game, but also now that it crosses over to Fortnite, seems like a pretty good deal, pretty good steal. And that leads us into our last topic, and it's some pretty good news here about Marvel times Fortnite. It was just announced today. Good news. It seems Fortnite times Marvel order restored. The comics are still going to release and Charlie Wen is working on the story. This means that Geno lore should be incoming. Also, Kevin Feige and Iman Villani are involved as well. Kevin Feige is the president of Marvel Studios and the primary producer for the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe. So some big potential. Maybe Fortnite actually makes it into that one day uh, on the big screen. Wouldn't that be something? And then Iman Villani, she actually did her first comic, Miss Marvel, The New Mutant, and it received a 7.7 .7 to 8 out of 10 rating. So she knows what she's doing as well. These comics should be a big deal. They should cross over with some Marvel skins as well. Will it be a full Marvel season? I hope and pray, man. I absolutely, that was one of my favorite seasons of all time, was the official Fortnite times Marvel season season chapter two season four nexus war of course so to get that again with new marvel characters i don't know th there's got to be enough left right there's so many of them it feels like we've got every marvel character in the book but if there's ever a time it's when this releases we don't have a release date on it yet Restro 
storyline guru, I call him. This is his Fortnite Order Restored predictions and then also what he hopes to see in the comics and then how that may cross over for the, 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 the Fortnite game. Comic is completely focused on Geno. Gives us his backstory, fully explains his motivations, shows us how he works. That's my number one as well. I want to know more about this guy, the leader of the IO, younger, right? We know a little bit, but the, the, the comics have helped us uncover so much more storyline wise in the past. We see the Snapshot Sisters and the Inner Circle. We watch Geno rebuild the IO. Maybe Geno prepares for the Big Bang. Uh, obviously, going back into all this stuff would be going back in time from where we're at right now in the Fortnite storyline. Find out why he wanted the Riftgate to fail and see him torturing Stellan. Learn That was a little dark. Learn what he was doing during Chapter 4 and figure out what happens with him and the IO where we are now in Chapter 5. It, it, yeah, he's obviously hoping for a lot here, but if any of this stuff or most of it comes true, we're in for some good storyline stuff and, in my opinion, good Fortnite gameplay as well if they tie any of it together. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Touch the like button. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.